don't want to blog.com Cause you don't have the time You can focus on your job While we blog, blog, blog for you Check out the website and you Welcome to Be Seen Blogging, the podcast that gives you tips and tricks to make your blog more effective in under 10 minutes. I'm your host, Jen Miller, and I'm excited to see that you tuned in today. In our last two episodes of Be Seen Blogging, I discussed the importance of two specific blog post types, the how-to post and the listicle. Today, we'll be discussing a third type, one that I often suggest for locally based businesses and individuals known as profiles as posts. Every blog and website has its own feel and audience, so engagement can often depend on the type of posts you write. If you write as a national figure or company, posts based on locality may not apply to you unless you are writing about a trending news topic in a specific community. However, if you write for a business that relies on readers in a certain community, you'll have more success in making connections with potential users of your service when you localize your posts. An added benefit to this is that many search engine algorithms favor searches based on area. So that allows you to rank better in your community for keywords that are relevant to that local search. So if your business and customers are in Flower Mound, Texas, your post should mention it. One way we help our clients to do this is through profile posts. We research and or interview people and places in their community and write about them on their blog. We generally focus on unusual or well-loved businesses or people a trending cafe or politician, a distinguished teacher or favorite museum, or a business that is having an event for the entire community. There are a few reasons why this type of post is so successful. It's local and familiar, it's relatable and interesting, and it's extremely shareable. The first reason is that it's familiar. Readers recognize the name of a restaurant, business, or local leader in the headline and pause to click to read more. This is a technique that community publications often use to get people talking, and you can use it too. Focus on showing what the business or person being profiled is like rather than providing a narrative by involving those senses, the sight, touch, smell, hearing, and taste in your post. The more your reader identifies with, the longer they will engage in the post, and the more they will connect with the website in general. The second is that it's relatable. If you find the topic interesting, chances are other people will too. If the person or place you are writing about recently had an event that is newsworthy or has one coming up, play that up as well. When possible, get additional perspectives and quotes. Those will add depth to your post. The third reason that this type of post is a success is that it's interesting and shareable. The goal of the post is to paint your subject using words. You want to share the essence of who or what you are writing about. If it's a local business, show their involvement in the community or how their unique method redefines an industry. If it's a restaurant, share specific menu favorites and discuss the ambience or mood of the environment and level of service. Discover what motivates the person or business owner to operate in that particular town. All of these create an interesting post that begs to be shared visually on the blog, in social media, and by word of mouth. A lot of times our clients will take that post and go to that specific restaurant and share the post with them, what we find is that the restaurant owner gets super excited and shares that post on their social media and makes reference to it in their profiles. So what we do is continue to build that reach just from that one post. At the beginning of the podcast, I mentioned research. Use community guides and reviews to find topics of interest if they are not readily obvious. Ask friends about some of their favorite local venues or people they would like to know more about. Do your background research and then follow up with questions. Oftentimes, you'll make friends with the subject of your post simply because they are excited that you already know something about them. Through my lifetime, I've had the opportunity to interview many people from the local grocery store owner to world leaders, and each has an inspiring story to tell. The interview is all about asking the right initial questions and then really listening to the answers and creating a conversation that builds on them. 
The post is about pulling the best parts out and highlighting the individual or company in an unusual way and tone that tells their story. It's all about the details. I've been told time and time again that I ask really good questions. And maybe it's true, because I do prepare for interviews by considering why I am writing the story and who will be reading it. But honestly, I think that's what is seen as me asking good questions is more a development of the conversation. My initial questions may be written down, but they are only a guide to watch the story unfold. Every interviewer needs to be able to modify and transition through topics, and that's a skill you will gain as you continue to write profile posts. Be careful to wait for the answer and to listen and ask rather than summarize. That's when you get the best material for your story. Here's some questions to consider as guidelines to get you started. Ask your subject, how did you get started? Were there specific qualifications needed? Before doing this, what did you do? How do you see your role in the community? What do you value most in life? What would you say your greatest challenges and successes have been? Where do you see yourself and your business in five years or 10 years? To whom do you owe your success? What should we have talked about today that didn't come up? In my experience, those questions lead to many more and produce stories worth telling. Please let me know if you have questions that you would like to use when interviewing. You can reach me on Twitter at GenBlogsForYou or through my website at NeedSomeOneToBlog.com. I hope you found today's Be Seen Blogging Podcast on Profiles as Posts worthwhile and look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you next week. Need someone to blog.com Cause you don't have the time you can focus on your job while we plug, plug, plug for you. Check out the website and you'll see. Try it out and become an icon of your industry. We will develop a voice for your blog to connect with your readers.